that they're just now over to Kevin's Lee's base, and uh, they're going to like 250 more minute cannons that's hatching until like two, two seconds, uh, which is an interesting use of an ability. I mean, um, there's not really anything else to use it on, just because it can't target her. Whoa, broodlings and speedlings, and oh my gosh, these stores are going to die. Um, because they're, they're so poor against zerglings, and these hellions are not quite positioned right. Uh, they're, they're tanking zerglings on their own, and they're not. Uh, Get them on that level really needs to put the Hellions behind the floor so the floor some tank and so that all the Zerglings are just bunched up uh, in front of the Hellions to really take advantage of the splash damage. But uh, get him on level is going to be able to hold this off just barely. Weapons 2 coming up for him and more Zerglings are being... Why isn't he pushing this? More Zerglings are, are being uh, shooted out by Kevin's Lee. I wanted to say a dirty word there, but I ref uh, restrained myself. Um, he could have just ended it right there, I think, though. Uh, get on my level, especially with, with that SCV repairing that Thor. Uh, two Hellions and a Thor is more than enough to take out several Lings and several several Mutalisks, especially if, oh my gosh, notice that we're coming up before Kevin's Lee, we might get to see some very interesting play. Um, on the other hand, uh, just because of, of Mules, get on my level isn't really in, in the worst position right now. Um, even though he's lost a, a bajillion drones and he's down to 11 Harvesters and he's in a really bad position, what am I talking about? Um, he, he's like, you know what, Zerg's down in expansion, I'm I'm on even bases now, and even bases means Terran's winning, unless all of his SCVs got killed by Mutalus Karras and he really needed to push in right there. New Year's resolution, talk slower. Um, so, Get On My Level is continuing to produce a couple of Hellions, and continuing to upgrade weapons for these Thors, uh, because Thors are awesome. And he's got this Barracks not quite touching this tech lab, not really sure what's going on here. Uh, I guess he's moving it. Another Thor coming out of this factory. Weapons 2 is about to finish. Does 3? Three, 3 doesn't even need like a science facility. Wow, this is not StarCraft 1. I'm surprised it's taken me that long to learn that. Um, get on my level in the meantime, is pushing in with a bunch of Hellions and a couple of SCVs, and this Thor is going to be way too far behind. This other Thor is going to be way too far behind. These Mutas are going to be able to do a bunch of damage. One Thor does not kill five Mutas immediately, uh, and five Mutas will, will be able to kill. They do nine damage hits, so they like two shot Hellions. Oh my god. But it looks like they're going after the Thor instead, and they're just going to die. Especially because there's SCVs on the Thor. And Thors do a bajillion damage. Two clumps of Mutalisk. Uh, get on my level is, is just going to be able to, to walk in and end this if, if he chooses to, I think. I think, I think, if the Hellions are, are in the back, if the Hellions are in the front, he's going to be in a little bit worse of a position, and whoa! Uh, he's loading up the status room, and he's going to move over an Overlord and do, do a little bit of base trading. It's going to be really interesting. Um, he's got drones, and oh! My gosh, I am wrong. Looks like he's just, um, he's expanded to, to this really crappy blue mineral patch right here, and I'm going to talk about why that's crappy in a second. Um, and he's also netiswarming a couple of drones out on this island, or at least he's getting set up to do so. He didn't actually do so until this netiswarm was under a bunch of fire, uh, which was a little bit of a deathbed bit, which was a little bit of a deathbed netis from him. But Spire is actually coming up for him at the. Where's the Spire coming up? Spire is coming up at this island expansion, so he's going to pretend he's Terran and take an island expansion and, and make the game really, really hard for his Terran opponent, which is a little bit of a role reversal here. Uh, and these stores and these, these Hellions are going to be more than enough to take out his man. And once this man is down, and once all of his tech buildings are down, he, he's going to be in a little bit of a tight spot. Even though he is already building a spire at that island. Um, what Get On My Level really needs to do is he needs to uh, tell one of these Hellions to just follow a drone, not to kill it, just to follow it, so that you can see where they're going, just because drones are dumb, and they're like, hey, you've got another expansion, I'm going to tell the other player exactly where that other expansion is. Uh, 250 millimeter cannon is going to be more than enough to take down these spine crawlers very, very quickly. Get On My Level's offensive GGing, what a prick! Um, even though his opponent still has two bases. And he's going to see that shortly. Um, and the spine, spawning pool is going to get down, so it's very good that Kevin's Lee chose to get up a spire before he did anything else, just because otherwise he wouldn't have a lair to make that spire, and he wouldn't have a spawning pool to make a lair, so he'd be very, very far behind in that regard. He's got a bunch of overlords floating the boot that are going to get taken up by Thor's. Um, get on my level in the meantime is, I guess, looking for expansions. He he should check here. Uh, and the reason he's not checking here is just because this expansion is so crappy. And the reason this expansion is so crappy is because this little banana of land right here that you can just drop units up onto. Which makes it impossibly, impossibly, impossibly hard to defend. Kind of like your Expo and Lost Temple, but it's also not close to your main. Whereas the Expo and Lost Temple is, is at least remotely close to your main, is at least remotely close to something interesting and useful. Where do those drones go for Kevin's Lee there at the middle watchtower? Why is he doing that? He could be mining. And yet he somehow has a bajillion minerals. He has 700 minerals. He's probably been floating all game and I didn't notice it. Um, 
Oh, what it was was he was producing zerglings. Let's get on my level. Is pushing in. Get on my level is up like a bajillion food. Um, all he needs to do is expand twice. Just expand twice. Like like not even worry about it. And uh, throw down a starport and get dropships and then win. But he doesn't seem to be doing so. So I, I guess we're gonna watch him produce Thor's. He has. Where did all of his SCVs go? He, he has ten SCVs. Did he lose some? Oh. Oh, he pulled up a bunch to repair the Thors, and he hasn't been pumping them for some reason. Wow, so this is a surprisingly even game. Um, Kevin's Lee is perfectly safe at this island expansion because his opponent uh, doesn't have any sort of drop and doesn't feel like lifting over a building. He has got a spire up, so he's got uh, access to, to air units, to relatively high tech, and he's got a drone advantage over his opponent, even though most of them are just sitting here doing nothing. Still! He technically has a drone advantage, which is a terrible position for get on my level. Get on my level needs to get an expansion. He needs to take th this this little doohickey right here out. Uh, Kevin's lead re really should have been mining. I mean, he's going to lose these drones eventually anyway. He might as well be getting at least a little bit more money out of them. Um, and he needs to get pool out so he can get queens. I'm making a, a very scared face. Um, but uh, we can see right here that Get On My Level is about to scout this last land expansion for Kevin Lee, and he's gonna be like, dude, what a prick, why did you not leave the game? After he kills this figure, he doesn't know about the island expansion. Here's what's gonna happen. We can see that uh, Pre-Igniter Hellions do zero damage to buildings. He's got like, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 of them? 9. I can't count. And he's doing like, no damage to this building. Um, of Starport finally coming up for get on my level, and he's not producing SCVs. What is he doing? He's, he's doing something other than producing SCVs, apparently. And this barracks is going to be able to scout this expansion, but there are mutalisks, dun dun dun, which are going to kill the barrack and get on my level. It's going to be like, oh my god, I cannot produce marines any longer. I thought I said I was going to talk slower. Um, get on my level is just cramming all of his stores and like all of his SCVs. He's not even mining with four. He's at like ten SCVs, and he's not mining with four of them. WT balls. What the balls? Um. Yeah. So. Both players in terrible positions. A queen finally coming out for Kevin's Lee. And he is again even on mining, and his opponent can't get across that ravine until he gets star ports. I reactor is up. Uh, two two medevacs, and it's GG really. Um, if they come out reasonable quickly, just drop two Thors, go back, get two more Thors, drop two more Thors, go back, get two more Thors, drop two more Thors, and he actually has n five Thors, so he, he can't quite do that, but still, you get the picture, he does have six Thors, never mind what I'm talking about. Um, you get the picture, and y you can really see that Get On My Level is suffering for the fact that he's got four, uh, three SCVs in mining. Like, what the balls. And he's got an expansion coming up. He, he should not have an expansion coming up, he should be saturating his main. I'm not worrying about this. I understand that I'm wishy washing all over the place, but he really should be saturating his pain and not worrying about. What, was that not an expansion? I was just miscalling that. I swear to God, there was like a little command center icon up there. He was probably producing something else, like, like a supply depot, and I'm just bad. Um, anyway, uh, several medevacs coming up before getting my level, and, and with four medevacs, even with all these medalisks, uh, he's probably going to lose like two, and then he drops off three Thors, and then it's GG for Kevin's life. Hopefully, um, because that's what I want to see, because I want this replay to end. But I am looking at the time, and I know exactly what ha what's happening, and I'm not going to say, because that would completely spoil it. Lol. So, um, a lair is coming up for Heavens Lee. I don't really see why he needs this. I guess he, he wants something that kills Thors, so he's getting a lair, because there's stuff in lair tech that kills Thors. Infestors work, I, I mean, I guess. But he's got way too many Thors, you need like five Infestors, and then the Hellions would still just kill the Infestors very quickly without doing anything. Um, get on my level, it's about to lose a star- whoa, whoa. Nice, uh, Thor hold positioning there. Those middle are just getting creamed. Completely creamed. And uh, some starports coming out for get on my level. And by starports I mean Metavax, I can talk. I am so good. Two Metavax out. He he really just needs to play offensively and drop some Thors. Like, go, dude. It's just gonna get worse. Your position is not going to improve. Unless you pump SCVs. Which you are nine SCVs to twenty three? Oh my god. And uh, you're you're losing your food advantage. Like you're at 73 out of 75, and your opponent is at 42 out of 90, and he was at like 13 out of whatever earlier. Um, and we do see get on my level after the final expanding to the gold. But again, he needs to build SCVs.